Hello everybody. Welcome to Happy Showers. Today I'll be showing you how to tutorial on how to install an EPSXE PS1 emulator. So let's jump into it. So first you want to do is you want to hit config. And over here you can see the configuring BIOS. The recommended BIOS is to choose a SCPH1001 USA. If you're in PAL you can choose PAL. So click next, hit this and click next. For a configuration, if you're running an NVIDIA card, it says PET Open GL. And then for ATI cards, use PET DD3 driver. So I'm using an NVIDIA card, so if you are using an NVIDIA card, click PET Open GL driver 1.76. Or if you're using ATR, ATI cards, use PET D3D driver 1.76. Since I'm using a video card, I'll be using Pete's OpenGL driver 1.6, 1.76, like I said. So hit next. For the audio, I don't know much about much about the audio. So hit the first one, EPSXE SPU Core 1.7.0, and hit next. And then for the CD-ROM, I'm not really sure about the CD-ROM, but my recommendation is just to click this and hit next. And if for controller pad, what you could do is you got your, you can configure your, there's two controllers you can use, controller one or controller two. But obviously you can use controller one and you want to click that and you will see here that you can set it up. So you could choose whatever controllers you want or if you have a PS, PS2 controller or PS3 controller that you could use, you could just plug that in your computer and just start using it. So I'm just going to show you how to set everything up so I'll get that back later. So when you're done with everything here, click next. And the says here, now you're done. Now we're going back, now we're moving to the graphics. So what you want to do is you want to hit config, video. And it says here, as I chose Pete's OpenGL driver 1.76, you hit configuration. As you're here to see the picture to the left, this is the recommended configuration for both ATI and NVIDIA cards, and I have tested them. Yes, they both work perfectly with no lag at all. So if you can see the picture, see these type of settings, and if not, then I will uh, do it for you right here in front of you. So what you want to do is you run your window at 1280 by 720. You cut it up that 332-bit. And your texture quality, you want to run an RGA, GB, BB, AB for best colors more RAM I need. So for your high res, you hit you hit none, and then for your texture filtering, put eight extended plus smoothed spirits. I don't know what that <laughs> means. But for your GX, G, JFX card RAM, just leave that alone. You could show your FPS display if you want to, and you could just FPS limit as you want it to. As you see, mine's a stock at 200 FPS. Or you could always hit auto detect it for you, which is more recommended, so it won't lock your FPS up. For off scale dr drawing, you hit put you hit three short uh, three enhance more stuff shows more stuff frame but frame buffer texting GFX card number uh, two GFX card buffer can be slow and then for frame buffer access hit zero and then you want to click alpha multi pass mask built and then that's everything it and then now we're gonna move on to controllers so you want to go to configuration gamepad port 1 pad 1 as you can see it shows a little PS1 controller and you can just adjust to the controllers you want so for my triangle I would hit W and then for my circle I would hit D and for the X I would hit S and then for the square I would hit A and then you could use the keypad on your computer on your comp on your keyboard or whatever is more you know easier for you and what and yeah <laughs> so when you hit that you want to hit OK now to see if everything's running perfect I will demonstrate right in front of you so if you have a CD-ROM that you want to use you could use run ISO and I'll be demonstrating Metal Gear Solid so as you see here's the video is running at a 12A by 7 12A by 720 uh, video screen. Not it's not full screen at all. So now let's just wait until I see if it boots up or not.
So it seems everything is in working perfect condition right now. I see everything is starting up, but I'll skip this. Most of the games on, on PS3 are usually capped at 30 FPS, which I highly doubt they'll be having at 60, but Metal Gear Solid is running at 30 FPS as I benchmarked before, and I'll demonstrate that it's working perfectly on the PS mission because I'm not good at this game at all, so. I'll do a quick timing attack mode for you, just to, just to show it works perfectly. And there you go, uh, everything is in perfect work conditioning, this is, if you're having any lag issues, just please let let me know and I'll try to help you for it. And this is the tutorial on how to set up a PS1 emulator for your computer. Rate, comment, subscribe if you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment below if you have any problems with this issue, just send us a message.